Investigators say the man admitted to have been struggling with his mental health and he only, and he even apologized for starting said fire. He said he only did it to get away from imaginary federal agents and uh, gang members who were, quote, chasing him. But now people who live nearby say they would like to see more funding dedicated to those who are suffering from mental health. There's just a lot of just really negative activity around here. People who live near 12th and Jackson say crime is something they're becoming all too familiar with. It's just constant in this neighborhood. It's always something, um, <laughs> you know, it, it's almost like normal now. Just hours before the new year, a fire sparked a nearby inside the Seattle Mitsuin Buddhist Temple. Alex, who lives in the area, says his roommate is one who told him what was unfolding. He's like, oh my gosh, Alex, like, <laughs> you know, there's cop cars here. They just arrested somebody, like the building's on fire down the street. Court documents say 42-year-old Waylon Williams broke in through the temple's front door. Dogs say he told officers he had been prostituting himself while doing meth, and he started suffering from delusions, thinking that feds or gang members were following him, which is why he ran into the church. Once inside, court documents say he went down to the basement where he started drinking liquor he found and throwing propane tanks, which is when the fire started. And this church here is such an important part of our community. Doc St. Williams made a run for a nearby home. Busting down the front door, the person who lives there thought it was firefighters. Police came to her aid, arresting him. Williams allegedly told them, quote, I'm a paranoid schizophrenic, and I thought the feds were following me into that church. I'm sorry I started the fire. Did you put it out? Fire crews estimate the damage to be in the thousands. The temple reignited two days later. It's just so devastating to see such a community staple like that, um, you know, suffer this loss. The temple posted these images of the aftermath on their website. A pile of charred remains lines the back of the alley. The smell of fire still lingers. That impacts not just one person or one home, but like a whole community. This isn't Williams' first running with the law. He has over 50 warrants for a arrest since 2001. It's heartbreaking just because this is somebody, if they've been arrested 50 times, to me that's 50 cries for help or 50 opportunities when that's somebody that we could have helped and instead we just throw them back out on the street. <laughs> Now, William is uh, currently being held on $40,000 bail, despite prosecutors, they argued for it to be set at 100000 saying that they fear he probably wouldn't show up in court again or that he's likely to commit another violent offense. Still, the courts went for a lower amount than what was requested. He's expected to appear again in court in two weeks. We'll keep you posted on what happens. In Seattle, Alejandra Guzman, Fox 13 News.